Cal, the apprenticeship is over. You finally, you fight, fight, not finally, it's only your 11th fight, but you're fighting for a title in your next fight, Commonwealth. How's it feel? I'm very excited, Matt. Um, very, very excited. I'm, I just can't wait now. I've, done, I've been training hard. I'm in good shape. I've got three weeks now to go. And, um, yeah, I'm, I just can't wait to get in there. And just want to get the job done so I can lift that title straight after. And uh, just for those that don't know, you, you fight uh, Jakob Karim for the vacant, vacant uh, Commonwealth Superfly title. Um, I mean, you, you fought eight times in your first nine months as a pro, and then you've only fought twice in the past year. Um, I mean, I know there's it's been injury-based, but do you mind telling for the fans that don't know? Yeah, um, basically, like I said, I had eight fights pretty quickly, and in the eighth fight, I tore my bicep in the second round of an eight-round fight. Um, it was a complete tear and then I went and seen the surgeon about a couple of days later and told me it was a complete tear and it would take a long time to heal. Um, that's if I got it operated on. I could have left it and not got it operated on but then I'd, I'd had the risk of losing 50% power in my left arm and I couldn't afford that really because, you know, them left ducks to the body are pretty naughty so <laughs> I like to dig them in. Mm. So, um, yeah, I had the operation done and I was out for a long time. I was back in October, end of October. Um, Boxing and a box again in December. Um, I thought I was back on back on track again, but um, then I had a little niggle. A little, it wasn't nothing major. It was just a little niggle on my left elbow. Um, a bit of swelling. That was just too soon, too close to March 15th when I was meant to be fighting again. So then obviously I had to have some time out and then get back in, ready now for May 21st. So you, you just have one operation on your arm. <coughs> Sorry, one operation after that first injury. Yeah, just the one, and the second injury weren't weren't related to the first injury which a lot of people think it was but it wasn't and um so so you because that happened in march didn't it i believe that, that that one and then um so you're out until october i mean how easy is it for you as you know as, as a fighter having one of your tools damaged to get back in are you fully confident with it it's a bit you're a bit worried at the beginning because um you know you're out for so long and you've got no use of your left arm and then all of a sudden you can start using it and you, you've got to build up slowly and build the strength back, which is hard work. It's hard to build muscle back. Um, luckily enough, it was fine and, you know, I was back I was back in business. And then my first, my first fight back, it did feel a bit weird being back in the ring and, you know, no top, no no head guard, no, nothing, you know, it's a normal fight. Um, but then I got into my groove in, this, in my fight in December and I was flying then. I mean... Must have been one of the most frustrating times. Definitely the most frustrating time in your pro career. Um, how how do you get over that? How do you fill your time? Because I know you 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 you're a, a model professional. You love your training and stuff. What what, do you, what have you been doing? Well, basically the first three three weeks I couldn't do nothing. I was stuck in my apartment um, with my arm in a cast, so I, c I couldn't do a thing. So um, couldn't drive. I couldn't um, I couldn't even get changed really because you know your your arms up like this. You, you try, the cast is pretty big, so you're trying to find a top to put over. So you know, and, and in the middle of summer. Yeah, in the middle of summer as well. So, my, you know, my missus, um, she, she has to get, uh, she has to dress me. She, she has to wash me sometimes. Um, you know, a couple of weeks after, once I was out the three weeks out my cast, it was just starting to get used to moving it again. And luckily enough, I managed to to go on holiday and enjoy my holiday as well. So. But once I come back from holiday, I have to get do all the rehab and stuff like that, and then back in business. So, do we feel fully fit now? Like um, no niggles, like, like you said after the fight in October. Yeah, no niggles. You know, you know what it is. To be fair, everyone has niggles, but it's just how how severe they are. Um, don't have no niggles at the moment. Yeah, I'm stiff and I'm sore from all the hard work that we do, but it's just part of boxing and part of the training. Um, but now I'm, I'm fit and I'm I'm ready to go. Um, like I said right at the start of the interview, your, your apprenticeship is over. Um, do you feel that you've, uh, you know, you've fully completed your apprenticeship in the pros and that you are ready to step up? I mean, you, you had a couple of eight rounders before your injury. Yeah, yeah, I had a couple of couple of eight rounders. Um, I'd done my first eight rounds in the fight that I'd done my injury. I only had one arm, so I couldn't couldn't really get him out of there. So um, I think I'm ready. I, I, well, I know myself I'm ready. Um, I've had ten fights. I know I know that there's a argument that you know I've been out a long time and I haven't been very active but people don't see what I've been doing behind closed doors in the gym you know I do plenty of, I have plenty of sparring 
do plenty of rounds. Um, so I'm fit and I'm, I'm I'm ready, ready to go, ready to move on and collect some titles. I mean, talk, talking about what people don't know behind the scenes. Um, I mean, it, it must be it must have been incredible. I, I'll say it again, so frustrating because I mean, Box Rec gave you Young Box of the Year for 2012. You were becoming a bit of a knockout merchant, like people saying, "Oh, he's got so much power." You, you know, no one could stop him at, at, at the weight. Um, and then and then the injury comes and it all goes quiet f to a point, I suppose. Yeah, um, you're on the end of everyone's lips, and you? you? Everyone's buzzing about you, and you know. You, you, Everyone's talking about you like you, you know you, you're one of the world's best prospects, and then all of a sudden you're you're just taking a back seat and you're watching everyone else. So um, it is frustrating, very frustrating, and it's um, I think you've got to be mentally tough as well, which I'm, which look, uh, luckily for myself I am. Um, I'm a very mentally strong person, and I know I know what and I always knew that obviously after this after these injuries I'd be back, and now I'm just looking to get back in there on May 21st and put on a really good show. I think it's good that you're uh, mentally tough with Eddie Eddie Hearn saying in press conferences that you're going to clear up at domestic level and move on to world. You must uh, must be strong just to, to not think that they they give me fights. No, 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 definitely not. You know, I've had I've had them fights where I'm expected to win and you know against journeymen and stuff like that. I've had enough of them. I, I had enough of them after my first three pro fights. But um, it's something you have to go through. Um, I can't pick my opponents, so I'll just get in there and do the business. Really. It's, fight whoever I'm told to fight I'm not really bothered um, Eddie also said in uh, in the presser he alluded to some possible Brummy fight nights yes. um, we've had one in Wolverhampton I remember a couple of a couple of Januaries ago now wasn't it yeah January yeah January 2013 yeah. and 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 I mean so, so we, we've had a little bit of a taste of it um, is this something we want we want to bring boxing to, to Birmingham oh definitely man I, 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 Eddie was just saying now now we can have them big nights in Birmingham, and I think that's what it needs. It's such a big city, and it's just, it's just, it's, it's sad really that there aren't, you know, big shows happening there. But um, you know, hopefully we can grab this title and grab it in good fashion. And um, with my brother as well, signed up to the team as well. And there's loads of loads of young talent coming out of Birmingham. There's loads. Um, hopefully we can have some big, some big nights there. Well, you just mentioned mentioned Gamal. Um, obviously he's now signed with Matchroom. Um, how much did you? Uh, how much did you have to talk him into it, or or was it something you've discussed together, or what? I didn't have to say anything to him. He was he, he's what he's wanted to do it for a long time. He's wanted to turn pro for a long time, and now he's turned pro. Um, he's, a, he's he's an exciting talent, and you know, I, I said to him earlier, you know, you don't want to be jinxed. Jinxed as this kid that can bang, and all of a sudden you can't ba you can't bang skin off a rice pudding when you get in there. You know what I mean? So he, I'm sure he'd be exciting, and he's fully suited to it. Um, like I said, he's, he's talented and, and he can punch very hard. What do you think the best bit of advice you've given him is? Keep a level head, keep grounded and just stick to your boxing. Do, do you guys train together at the moment? What's the situation? Yeah, yeah, we train together. So um, he's, um, he's, ready. He's, he's, he's adapting very, very well and very quickly, which is, which is good to see. Uh, I mean, I, I said to get to Gavin McDonnell and to Stephen Smith... Um, it's a bit of a theme of, of brothers and siblings going on. Um, do, do you reckon that helps you? Like having, you're kind of competing with each other all the time, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, doing sprints and stuff. We want, I want to beat him, and he wants to beat me. If we're doing the circuits, he wants to get round a lap quicker than I do. He can't, but <laughs> you know, he, he tries. And um, yeah, but it's it's just it's good to have some, it's good to have someone there with you as well. You know, there's you go to some gyms and. It's a, it, there's a lot of fighters there and that, but that ain't the case. It's just, it's just me and him. No, I know this is something that me and Eddie have mentioned before. It's great how, how you, well, before it was just you just ploughing away, doing all your training on your own and stuff, and then arriving at fight nights and getting the job done. Now you've got someone to share it with. Is it going to make life easier for you? I think so. Yeah, you, you push each other on. Um, you know, he's, he's there. He's, we're competing against each other, so. It's so it's so it's helpful when it's, it's no it's not good when you're on your own. It gets it gets a bit boring after a bit. You need someone to compete against. Now I've got him. <laughs> um, and and yeah, um, um, how do you how do you think he will t take the uh, step up to the pros, the Tony over? Do you think um, do you, do you think he'll he'll be able to you know take his power with him? I think so. Yeah. Um, I mean, from your experience of, of how you felt, like I mean, how was it for you, like when you first stepped in? Well, I adapted to it pretty well. I, I think so. I think he will as well. You know, he's experienced what, what it's all about. He comes to all the fights with me. You know, he comes to the weigh-ins and he stays with me. 
he knows what it's like, what, what happens after weigh-ins and leading up to the fight. So he, he knows he knows all that. So he's, he's just got to put it into practice and do it himself. And I think um, I think he'll carry everything he had from the amateurs to the pros. Well, the best of luck uh, with your, with your first title fight. I mean, it must must be pinching yourself a little bit with that. Yeah, I only found out yesterday, so you know, I'm, I'm just excited. Well, the best of luck with that. I'm sure you'll do well, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll be chatting in Birmingham sometime soon for a big fight night there. Definitely. Thanks, Matt. Cheers. Cheers.